Yo guys, what is going on? We are on Battlescape, and I know a lot of you have heard of this server in the past. There's a lot of YouTubers that do a lot of videos on it, so I figured I'd jump on and do a little bit of a server tour for you guys. But not only that, they're also doing a 300 mil old school tournament, so stay tuned for the details on that. But just before we get into this video, guys, I wanted to mention the huge giveaway I've got going on. So first two comments on this video are each going to win themselves an old school bond, so congrats to whoever won those. And then four random comments down below are each going to win themselves two old school bonds each. As you guys can see here, there is a lot of things you can get with these bonds that I will be going over this throughout the video but just like always guys all you have to do to enter is like the video comment your in-game name on battlescape subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn on post notifications because just like this video sometimes i do choose the first commenter to win let's get into it all right guys so one of the first things i want to talk about on the server is the 300 mil old school tournament that they're going to be hosting this weekend so jumping over to the forums over here i will link this in the description down below just like always but as you can see the 300 mil 07 weekend clan wars tournament on march 23rd and march 24th so there's going to be two events hosted this weekend with large old school prizes for the winners the events are going to be taking place on obviously the 23rd and the 24th of march at 3 p.m eastern standard time all of the gear food and stats will be supplied to you once you enter the portal which is pretty sweet that way literally anybody can partake on it even if you don't play the server or haven't played it in the past you can hop right in and take part in this tournament so on saturday there's going to be a 5v5 pure nh and clan wars tournament You'll be required to have a team of five to enter the tournament with all five players present at the entrance at the time of the event. All of these supplies obviously being provided as well. And the day one rewards, first place receiving 100 mil old school, and then second place receiving 50 mil old school. And then on Sunday as well, there's going to be a 1v1 Clan Wars tournament hosted as well. You'll be fighting solo in the tournaments with the Derek's gear, and once again, all of the gear and supplies will be supplied as well. And the last two players standing, first place winning 100 mil and the second place winning 50 mil. This is actually going to be a huge event, guys. There's going to be so many people online for this. I know I will definitely be taking part in this, but I'm not necessarily sure how far I'll get into it because I'm a fucking trash PKer. But either way, it's worth a shot. Quickly, before I forget, guys, I wanted to show off the bonds redeeming system here. So obviously, you can buy bonds and donate from them off the store itself. They cost four dollars each, and then opening up the pouch here, it shows you your total bonds and then all of the information here. So I'm gonna go through the items you can exchange it for first. One bond is a mystery box or a hundred thousand blood money. You can get a ring of wealth imbued, a herb sack, a seed box. You can get all of the experience outfits ranging from the lumberjack. Prospector, Anglers, Pyromancer, Rogue, the Larupia, Farmers, Graceful, and the Runecrafting set as well, all giving bonus experience. And then for 25 bonds, you can buy the Rubber Chicken. And then you can redeem your bond for 14 days of gold membership, which has a huge list of benefits down here. So a lot of people on the server are actually gold member. But yeah, overall, it looks really fucking clean. So I said this about the last server that I featured that had Runelight as well. I am absolutely in love with the amount of servers that are coming out with Runelight. It is unbelievably handy. After playing old school with Runelight for so long, it kind of feels a little dry not using it. So it's a really good feels good man that they actually have it as well. And I do believe on this server, they do have every single old school RuneScape plugin working on here as well. So that's actually insane insane including as you can see here the right click lookups as well they also have the world switchers honestly they do a really good job on here so jumping onto the server a little bit more as you can see it's 8 45 in the morning and there's 55 online they do have a really active community and the server does peak over the hundred so it's pretty sweet and it's not like everybody's walking around in complete max gear there obviously are some people with that but then you got homies like this this dude's an absolute legend but yeah i've been poking around on the server for a little bit now and it honestly looks really fucking clean so of course with any server tour let's start off with the home tour so one thing that is extremely unique and i actually love about this server is they do have the quests but it's not the full quest himself you literally just walk up to the npc and start the boss fight so for example here this is the monkey madness you just jump in fight the jungle demon and then you get access to the shop for the dragon skin royal seed pod and things like that and of course same goes for the dragon slayer shop and they also do have the dusk mystic and i do like the fact that it's extremely cheap as well and then of course the barrows you have the horror from the deep i actually don't remember what evil dave is it's for agrith nar so i have no idea what he is and then another recipe for disaster add-on and then you have the lunar diplomacy as well for all the lunar gear some astral runes and the clean looking moon clan outfit as well with the entrana island and the abandoned mine so that's pretty sweet i do like that a lot that the end game stuff isn't necessarily just handed to you and it's not extremely hard to get but it does have that old school twist on it so it's a feels good man of course at any point in time you can come to the duke of lumbridge walking around home for a huge list of guides here and one thing under this dude that i think is actually really cool is they have pvm kill and loot logs so you can go through your kill logs on slayer and boss as well with your rare loot log and your rare drop rates so for example let's take a quick look at the alchemical hydra easy tell me that doesn't look amazing Coming into the little hut here, you have Adam the Iron Man man, you have the makeover mage, and the combat instructor as well. If you come in front of the general shop, they also have the spiritual fairy tree, so that's pretty sweet. Another really nice way to get around the game. 
But coming into the shop here, first thing I wanted to point out is the ornate jewelry box. Look at all those juicy teleports around the game, dude. So I'm going to quickly run through these shops as well here. You have the pet shops for a bunch of kittens here for 10 mil each. That's actually quite a bit of money on this game. And then, of course, your capes of accomplishment. You have the general store for all the supplies and such. You have Arbory for your magic shop and then Horvick for your melee shop. Of course, you have Low for the range shop as well. And what's a private server without all your fancy dresses? You got to get that fashion scape. If you trade Chadwell here, you will also get access to the skilling shop, which is actually really overpowered you have the tanner for the hides and this is one thing i love look at this agility shop dude you have a pet monkey all of your amylase and then a clue box as well with every single color of your graceful and then of course the achievement diaries as well so looking at the blood money shop it's actually pretty sick they have a lot of really good things in here and the hellcats as well so that's pretty sweet you have things ranging from all of your capes your void knight sets you have d claws elder mall there's a lot of stuff in here Coming into the manhood here, guys, we have the Ornate Rejuvenation Pool, my favorite altar, the Altar of Occult. You have the Gilded Altar in here as well, and then where you're going to be doing all of your thieving. And they do also have the Wilderness Slayer, so that's pretty sweet. Coming into the home bank, guys, we have, of course, the Crystal Key Chest, the Slayer Master. We have Peridu, which is where you're going to get all of your untradeables or items that you've lost on death. And then, of course, the Mage of Zamorak to train that Cancer skill. They also do have a really nice Grand Exchange on here as well. You can search up items just like normally, or you can talk to the Grand Exchange Clerk. You can manage your offers, look up an item specifically like that you can look up a username so this dude that's spamming barrel sale on his ge you can look up his username and you can also search up random usernames just like this so it'll open up an interface and you can look at random things that he's selling so there we go we got some morgan's javelins a fury ornament kit and a toma fire and last but not least guys they have a really good voting shop so be sure to vote anytime you're on the server you have items ranging from the gold membership your fire cape all of your imbued rings your elite void your upgraded slayer helmets so it does look pretty sweet so coming over to the teleport manager over here you talk to the wizard at the home and as you can see it's a very clean interface it has the previous three teleports here and scrolling through here we have all of these cities and then of course all the monsters and dungeons throughout the server as well you have a load of slayer teleports on here and then you have some demi bosses like the crash site the fossil island the great karen lizardman and the lithkrin vault as well Taking a look at the bosses, they of course have Abyssal Sire, Chambers of Xerox, they have Corporal Beast, Dagonoth Kings, God Wars Dungeon, the Grotesque Guardians, they have Cerberus, they have the Caliphate Queen, the Giant Mold, the Thermonocular Smoke Devils, Borkath, and Zulra. And then of course the minigame teleports, the key ones being the Inferno and the Clan Wars tournaments, all of your skilling teleports throughout the server, and all of the Wilderness teleports. Which I think I just teleported to, god damn it. So on the plus side of me teleporting there, they have black chinchampas. So while I'm walking my ass back home, a few of the key things that I really like about this server is not only that it is an extremely clean old school server, is they don't actually rush anything. Battlescape's been out for so long and they do an amazing job. They have some really good devs on their team. Like for example, I played on servers where even like Vorkath is a little bit buggy. No, they made it perfect on here. Pretty much every single thing on the server is coded pretty much flawlessly, so I definitely recommend come checking it out. But of course, in saying that guys, I do have to go test out my favorite boss, the good old Vorkath. So jumping over here real quick, let's uh, start the fight. So the first time I actually did Vorkath on here, I got hit a 92 by the fucking fireball, so that kind of spooked me a little bit. Come on, hit it. Feels good, man. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a thing. And look, you can even do the Wooks walk on here if you're not completely garbage like me. I'm actually so surprised how clean this is, honestly. But I am taking so much fucking damage, I actually don't even think I'll be able to finish this kill. I got two food left. This is a bit out of hand. Come on, RNG. Please be in my fucking favor. I want to actually finish a kill this time. And there we are. Just like that, one Vorkath kill done. That's actually a really good drop. Got a Magic Seed and a Calquat Seed. Easy farming XP. Yo, that plugin is sweet. Look at that, dude. That's actually insane. Holy crap. I haven't killed Zora on Runelight yet on Old School. That's actually insane. This is actually sweet. And just like that, the loot snake has been killed. Fuck off, I got a spirit seed. That's actually rare. Of course as well, they do have the chambers of Xerox, but I do want to save that for a further video in the future. But I've been messing around out here for a little bit now, and I've yet to find anything that I actually have an issue with. I know I may say that a lot, but there really isn't anything that's actually stuck out to me that I have an issue with. The server is overall really fucking clean. The community on here seems really friendly as well. The economy is amazing. I'm actually so surprised there's an RSPS with such a good economy. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this server tour. I hope you guys do enjoy. Definitely come check out Battlescape whenever you get the chance. It's actually pretty sweet and I will be doing future videos on here. It is overall a really clean server. I have been on a lot of old school servers in the past and honestly this has to be my top. This is hands down the cleanest old school server that I've been on. But guys I do hope you did enjoy. Don't forget to enter that massive giveaway. Definitely come online during the weekend. Take part of that huge fucking tournament. 300 mil old school giveaway. And until next one guys. Later.